Hello everyone, this is Paul, your eHobby guy. Today we're going to look at an ESD mat, an electrostatic discharge mat. We're going to look at what it is, why do you need it, how to set it up and use it. So stay tuned and I hope you learn something. Okay, here I have an ESD mat that I bought on eBay for less than $13. And as a result, it does not have all the bells and whistles that you might find with more expensive uh, ESD mats. Um, as a hobby guy, we want to keep our costs as low as possible. And so, um, I went for a really cheap one and a relatively small one because of just the scale of the things that I'm working at as a hobby guy. And so, here it is. Um, it doesn't come with a clip, a wrist strap, and a grounding line. We'll get into that right now. First, I just want to talk about what the purpose of a discharge mat is. Particularly in the winter months, we can build up very thousands of volts in our bodies um, that can discharge a current when we touch something that's grounded, either it be another person or something metal. When we're handling electronics, we do not want to discharge current through highly sensitive components. As a result, before we begin, we want to make sure that we're fully discharged and then as we work we want to make sure that no charge builds up during our work and can affect components that we are working on. But first let's take a look at the mat a little more closely. Um, it comes with two different materials. The top is a material that is made from a highly insulative material. It will not conduct. And the bottom is the real true purpose of the mat. It's got a conductive material at the bottom. And so essentially we're going to be setting it up to conduct through the bottom of the mat from our bodies into ground. So looking at the top first, we'll put my resistance meter, my ohm meter right on the top, putting them very close to each other. And you can see I don't get a reading. It's highly, highly insulative. So it's very safe to work on this surface and this side of the mat. Nothing is going to conduct through here. Now looking at the bottom, I'll do the same thing. And you can see when I put the probes on it, I, I am getting a resistance reading, which means it is conductive. And so what this is going to do is conduct electricity from our bodies through this mat and into ground, making it safe for us and making us discharge and easy and safe to work on. The first thing that we have to do to get set up is to wear this wrist strap so that it will conduct electricity from our body down into the mat, but that's only about half of what is going to be a circuit. And the circuit's going to consist of this strap, um, the mat, and another conductor from the mat to ground so that there's a clear path for the current from our body all the way to ground and away from our components. And so you can just attach the alligator clip to anywhere convenient along the front of the mat. And you'll see the bottom jaw of the alligator clip is the one that's touching the conductive material on the bottom. And so moving on to the back of the mat, here's a simple cable that I put together. It's got a banana plug on one end and an alligator clip on the other. The components were of 10, 12 cents each. And so we're just going to put the alligator clip right on the back of the mat like here. And the other end with the banana plug is going to plug right into the grounding pin um, on my mains. Make sure that you are very careful around the mains and that you are going into the grounding pin only. You should also verify that the, your ground on the outlet that you're using is connected to a real earth ground. Uh, if you can't do it, find somebody who can do it. But as you can see, um, you can now safely work with... Uh, components on the top of the mat and not be worried about destroying the components from electrostatic discharge from your body. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about it. Please rate this video up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any relevant comments, you can leave them down below. Thank you for watching.